Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Have you ever noticed that in modern times, everybody is going 1,000 miles an hour? <laughs> 1,000 miles an hour at all times. It's, it's a problem when it comes to relationships, marriage, uh, just basically living life, really. You can get very busy in your life and you can really neglect small things in your relationship, in your marriage, that can really make a big difference. And I wanna focus on that in this episode. I wanna talk about five different things, five different simple things that you can do today to improve your relationship. Now, these things will not apply to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking to men and women on this episode. This doesn't just apply from, from guys to ladies. Ladies, you might be surprised about some of these some of these points that I'm going to make here in this episode, it can make a huge difference in a dude's life. Even if he's a hard son of a gun, he, he might enjoy this kind of stuff. It will help your relationship. It'll help you connect and have fun doing it. So let's just get into it. So number one, leaving notes. Simple post-it note, love you, babe. Stick it on their steering wheel, their sock drawer, their their door going to to the outside, anywhere that you know they're going to see it, a simple post-it note just saying, love you, babe, just telling them that you're thinking about them, it's going to give them warm fuzzies. Most people are going to be like that. That's going to make a pretty big difference for somebody, and uh, maybe that might make a huge difference in their day. Love you, babe. Can't wait for tonight. I'll see you at 6. Okay. Simple note. Easy to do. My wife and I have a lot of fun with messages on the mirrors, okay? A simple dry erase marker, a black dry erase marker written on a mirror, a simple message, love you, babe, you can write it big, a heart with an arrow through it, you know, can't wait for it for tonight. Uh, you can say dinner at six, wear this, or you're beautiful, simple things like that. We have so much fun with the messages on the mirrors, and some are adults, some are not. Most are basically just uh, thinking about you, and it is, it's awesome. Uh, we love doing that kind of thing. It's very simple, easy to do. Seriously, it takes you about 10 seconds to do something like that. It can really make a big difference in, um, in somebody's day. Another thing I like to do every now and then is uh, I'll make these little, uh, I'll make a series of notes, okay? Uh, make a little scavenger hunt out of it. Like, check out the bedroom. Number one, love you, baby. Check out your sock drawer. Number two, these the small little scavenger hunt just to let her know that I care and I love to have fun with her. It's it's really not that difficult to do. So that's number one. Leave a note. Easy to do. Number two, go out of your way to help your lover, okay? If they are really busy and they can't get to the post office or they can't get to the UPS store to send back all of the Amazon stuff that they've bought or something that doesn't fit, um, take it for them. Do something nice for them and tell them that you care, okay? Go out of your way to help them. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult to, uh, to take five minutes out of your life, 10 minutes out of your life, and do something for somebody that you love. Not hard. So that's number two. Number three is related. Thank your person for doing something for you. Okay. If they go out of their way to do something for you, thank them. Appreciation is huge. It, for me personally, appreciation is everything. All it takes is a simple thank you. Simple thank you just to recognize that you did something and say thank you. Appreciation is huge when it comes to relationships, marriage. Most guys, they do a lot of things that are invisible for their spouse, and that goes for ladies too. A lot of ladies do a lot of things that are invisible that uh, just, just go unnoticed and it can really cause a lot of resentment in your relationship. So just thank them for doing something. 
ladies, if your dude walks by a, a table and, and folds the towels, thank them, okay? Thank you for that. It's not hard. And guys, if, a, if, a, if your woman goes out of the way and cooks your favorite meal, or if she makes plans for a vacation, or if she's just, just doing something for you, thank her, okay? Appreciation is huge, 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 huge. Can't stress that enough. Thank them for doing something for you. Goes along with number two, so that's number three. Number four, have sex. <laughs> have sex, okay? Uh, a lot of guys that I've talked to in coaching, they've been dealing with a dead bedroom situation, okay, uh, where they haven't been physically connected at all with their spouse in quite a while, in some cases, years. Um, a dead bedroom, if you didn't know, technically is having sex less than 10 times in a year. And that basically comes down to once a month, okay? And if you've gone that long without having sex, it's obviously going to be a little bit awkward. Both people are aware of the situation. And sometimes just do it. Okay, just do it. Break, tear, tear the bandaid off. Uh, break the ice. Do something. Have sex. That's gonna really, that'll get you back connected as lovers and not friends. Okay. Have sex. I mean, that's what that's what makes the difference between lovers and friends. That's it. Bonus points when it comes to number four, having sex. Introduce something new. If you're already physically intimate, if you're if you're already having sex, you're you're connected that way, and you're not in a dead bedroom situation. Introduce something new, okay? Just go for it. Don't ask. Just do it. And if it doesn't go well, it's all good. At least you tried, okay? Bonus points for that. All right. If you wanted to do something and you've been too afraid to ask, just do it. So that's number four. Number five. This is a biggie. Let go of something that bothers you about them, okay? You cannot control someone else. Even if it's your wife, even if it's your husband, you cannot control them, okay? The only person that you can control in this universe is you, okay? That's it. So let go of something that that they've done in the past, or if they there are certain things that uh, that bother you, if he leaves his socks on the on the bedroom floor, if he doesn't fold his shirts a certain way, or if she doesn't perform a sexual act for you guys, that's a common one when it comes to marriage. Let it go, let it go. You can do that right now immediately as you're listening to this episode you can do that it's not impossible let it go resentment builds 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 and eventually gets to contempt and contempt has the power to end your relationship so the key is to control that resentment and the only person that you can control is yourself period so that's the five things you can do today to improve your relationship. It sounds simple. This goes for men and women. But those five things that I've I've seen in my coaching, in real life, in my own marriage, they can make a huge difference in your relationship. It can completely turn your marriage around and your relationship around if you're having troubles. All of these things can work. Will it work for everybody? Maybe not. At least try, okay? So if you like this material, please hit that subscribe button. Appreciate everybody that's done that so far. Love you to death. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.